Hi everyone, and welcome to this week's Dose of Leadership. As you can see, today I'm outside enjoying the beautiful weather. This is something we all have to do as leaders. We need to get out, get away from our desks, and be able to relax and enjoy. This is something that's important, not just from a psychological perspective, but from a physical perspective as well. It rejuvenates us, it makes you feel good, both physically and psychologically and spiritually. And what that does is it helps you to get out there and be able to lead your teams even more effectively. You know, a lot of, a lot of managers and even some leaders will say, you know what, I need to be with my team all the time because I'm the one who's going to be able to help them and guide them to their success. And that's true. But if you're doing that at 20, 40, 50% of your normal capacity because you're tired, you're worn, you're burnt out, and you may not even realize it, are you really doing the best for your team? The answer is no. You'd mu you're much better off being there 100% for your team 80% of the time than to be with them 100% of the time but only be working at 80% or even less. And this is why it's so important to get out and relax. Now listen, the world is going through many different things. Whether you're in a quarantine or you're just on a normal work day, you need to find ways to relax, rejuvenate. You know, it reminds me of a story from my friend Dennis Perkins' book, Into the Storm. And in that book, Dennis chronicles the Sydney to Hobart race. Great book, definitely pick it up and read it if you're looking for an adventure story that deals with leadership and teamwork. And Dennis recounts in that book the story of Ed Solsis, who is the captain of the ship going from Sydney to Hobart, the Midnight Rambler. And he talks about how this, this leader, and he was a great leader and he is a great leader, wanted to always be in the front at the helm because he knew he was the person who can help guide his team and guide that ship to winning a race or at least to, to conquering a race. But his team encouraged him that they needed him to go and rest because they needed him to be 100% when he was with them. And he was tired, they were all tired. It was a treacherous, treacherous race, a perfect storm, if you will. Read the story, read the book, and you'll learn all about and all about great leadership lessons and team lessons there as well. The point that I'm making though is really quite simple. If you're sitting at your desk watching this, Great, I appreciate that. When it's over, very shortly, get up, walk around. Walk around the office, walk around the house, go outside if it's not horrible weather, and even if it is, get out there for a few minutes. Go to the gym in your basement, at a gym if you can. Go to a spa, take a spa day. Refresh, rejuvenate, because if you're not 100%, as much as you think you're the best person for the job, you're not. Get out there, refresh, rejuvenate, and don't forget, just keep leading. Thanks for listening, have a great week, and I will see you next week with the next dose.